let's look at this question which I have taken from uh, New Zealand NZQA level 2 maths exam 2010 and the topic was draw straightforward nonlinear graphs okay so let's read the question a wheel rotates vertically around an axis so this is probably the axis okay and this is rotating okay the axle around an axle not axis okay so this is an axle probably the axle is located yeah that's the axle is 1.5 meters above and 0.4 meters horizontally from the bottom left of the wall so this is the bottom left of the wall so this is the bottom uh, so this is the bottom left of the wall okay so this is the bottom and this is the left okay okay the radius of the wheel is 0.5 meters so if you draw a radius suppose this is what they're saying is this is 0.5 centimeters so this is 0 0.5 meters yeah uh, the point P is on the circumference of the wheel so this is point P which is on the circumference this is moving the whole wheel is moving so P is also moving a point P is on the circumference of the wheel the position of point P relative to point O as the wheel rotates is shown in the graph below so this is uh, P is rotating and this P is relative to this point O okay and uh, it's in the given in the graph okay so this is your O so if you translate if you want to understand the graph from the diagram so this is your O okay so this is your wall the bottom of the wall so this is the bottom of wall is your x-axis this is the bottom of the wall is the x-axis your y-axis is the left hand side of the wall so this is the left of the wall which is your y-axis so this is very important in the next question that's why I'm discussing this so basically what's happening here yeah? this is the this is say the axle which is the center so this is the center so it says the axle this is the axle this axle the whole axle is relative to this point O the whole circle the position of point P is relative to O that means the whole circle is relative to point O so with in relation in relation in relation to point O this is is how much is located 1.3 meters above and 0.4 meters horizontally so I can say if I drop let me drop an arrow from here so I can say this point this is 0 0.4 and if I drop if I draw a arrow from here to here on the y-axis this point this this vertical distance is this point is 1.3 on the y-axis or in other words this is the center has the coordinates of 0 0.4 comma 1.3 and this has a radius of this has a radius of 0.5 this is a radius of 0.5 meters so the radius is 0.5 meters so I think with these three information if you know the center and if you know the radius you can write the equation of the circle the question is write the equation of the circle so you know the center and you know the radius so I'll first write the general equation of the circle which is x minus a squared plus y minus b squared is equal to r squared is the equation of a circle with center a b with center a b and a radius of r radius of radius of r so this is the general formula if you have a circle with center radius a, center a b a comma b in the radius of r this is the general form so when you compare this with this 
I can say A is 0 0.4 and my B is 1.3 and the R is 0 0.5. So the equation of the circle is, I'll write it here, okay, so I can finish it off. So this is X minus 0 0.4 squared plus Y minus 1.3 squared is equal to 0 0.5 squared. I hope it's clear. So this is the equation of the circle that we're talking about. Okay, so now the next question is a excellence question. So let's read the question. When the point P is 1.1 meter above the bottom of the wall, what is, the hori what is its horizontal distance from the left hand end of the wall. So the left hand end of the wall is your y-axis. So this is nothing but the left hand end of the wall is nothing but the y-axis. Okay, so basically they're asking you when this point P is 1.1 meters above the ground, when the, that means the the vertical distance is 1.1 they want you to find the horizontal distance that means when they're asking you when y is 1.1 meters what is x this is basically the question because two things you need to understand is this your x-axis you can compare because if you if you trans as i told you the bottom of the wall is your x-axis and the left hand side of your wall is the y-axis. So yeah, the question is when you got a point which is 1.1 meter above the ground, above the, what does it say, 1.1 meter above the bottom of the wall. So this is the bottom of the wall and you going to go 1.1 meter. So if you see this is 1 this is a one point if this is one uh, when the point comes here exactly it is one meter above the bottom of the wall so here probably the point is here so let me use a different color the question is you need to understand the question when the point is 1.1 meter above the ground so probably it is here okay or as it is symmetrical, you have a point here, here again, it's 1.1 meter. At that point, when it is 1.1 meter above the bottom of the wall, what's the corresponding x value? So I'll draw an arrow dropping here. So I, you know what's the answer. So one answer would be negative, and the other answer would be positive. The negative distance the negative x that you are saying is, is to the left of the wall. And this will be to the right of the wall. So I can make a guess. This will be 0 point something. And this would be very close to 1. Or very close to 1. Yeah, that's right. So because this is, from the graph, I can see this is 0 0.5. And this is 1. So this would be around 1, very close to 1. And this would be very close to 0. So. Let me write the equation. So the equation that we have is x minus 0 0.4 squared plus y minus 1.3 squared is equal to 0 0.5 squared. So now this is the question. When y is 1.1, what is x? So I'm going to put this in this equation. Let me change color. I don't like this color. So this is x minus 0 0.4 squared plus what is y? y is 1.1 minus 1.3 squared is equal to 0 0.25. So this is nothing but x minus 0 0.4 squared plus this is negative 0 0.2 squared is equal to 0 0.25. Okay, so now this becomes x minus 0 0.4 squared plus 0 0.04 is equal to 0 0.21. So x minus 0 0.4 squared 
Now if you take away 0 0.04 from both sides, this is 0. Point, sorry, I wrote the answer already. So this is 0 0.05, 0 0.25 minus 0 0.04, which is 0 0.21. So I'm going to take square root of both sides. So this is square root of x minus 0 0.4 squared is plus or minus. This is where they're asking you whether you know the real maths. Okay, uh, the student who doesn't know, uh, okay, is not very confident. Will say only plus. They will not put the sign. Okay, so this is one thing that should be very clear. As math student or as algebra student, you should know if x squared is, say, 16, they're asking you what's x, you should be saying x is plus or minus square root of 16. Why? And this is plus or minus 4. As you should know, or as you should be knowing, square and square root are opposite. If x squared is 16, x is plus or minus 4. Why? Because if you do 4 squared, you get 16. That all everyone knows. But you should also know that minus 4 squared is also 16. Okay, so you got two numbers which when you square it, you get 16. And that's why this is a complete truth. But you may say well, the calculator gives me only 4. Okay, that's right. So if you go shift square root of 16, it gives you only 4. Now this is by default. The calculator has set this for only one answer. But the, to get the complete truth, if you go the other way around, 4 squared is, suppose if someone is asking square root of 16 is 4, is that right? That's right. Why? Because 4 squared is 16. But minus 4 is also right because minus 4 squared also gives you 16. So you got two answers, plus or minus 4. So this is where you should be very careful. Whenever you have your square rooting in number, you have to write plus or minus. So I can say x minus 0 0.4 squared is, no, now the square will be, square will be gone because when a square rooting is square, the square goes off. So this is plus or minus square root of 0 0.21. So now adding 0 0.4 to both sides, x is 0 0.4 plus or minus square root of 0 0.21. So this becomes, so x has two answers, 0 0.4 plus square root of 0 0.21. So this is x1, so let me write this as subscript of x1. And x2 is 0 0.4 minus square root of 0 0.21. So let me use a calculator. So one answer would be 0 0.4 plus shift square root of 0 0.21, which is 4 point, oh, sorry, 0 0.4 plus shift square root of 0 0.21 is 0 0.858 in 3 VP. It is 0 0.858 in 3 decimal points. So x1 is 0 0.858 in three decimal places, or three significant figures. Okay, so the other answer, let me scroll up, x2 would be the same thing minus, so I'll scroll this, I'll put a minus here and delete the plus, which is minus 0 0.058 minus 0 0.058. So x2 is minus 0 0.058 in 2, again 3 dp, sorry. Now let us make sense of the answer. So this, what we've got is two answers. When the point is one point, this is 1.1 meters above the base of the wall. This is your x1, sorry, this is your x2, and this is your x1. Okay, so this is 0 point, this point is 0 0.858, and this point is negative 0 0.058. Okay, and this is to the left of the 
left of the origin or at this corner this is the base of the wall and this is the left hand side of the wall so this is to the left or you can say 0 0.058 to the left and 0 0.858 to the right 